Who exactly is lying to the president? Who? The president has announced the easing of the lockdown on the strength of a lie. Who is lying to the president? We've been locked down now for five weeks. Prior to the lockdown, they made us a commitment of testing 1,500 persons every day. 1,500 persons times 14 days is 21,000. Times four weeks is 42,000. How then can the committee tell us that they have tested only slightly above 10,000? Today, we're close to 2,000 persons who have tested positive to the virus. If we use the strength of 10,000 total already tested and 2,000 already infected, that places us at 20% infection. Hmm. That's higher than every other country. Research findings are based on percentage. Who is lying to the president? Because on the strength of a lie, he has approved an ease and he has also approved an increase in the number of people to be tested daily to 2,500. If they could not accomplish 1,500, then how are they able to achieve 2,500 a day? The nurses and doctors and all health workers are working extremely hard, breaking themselves into pieces just to save lives. And a few people are sitting in the comfort of an air-conditioned room and reaching agreements that empowers only their pockets. Why make a mess of people's effort? Why? You know, sometimes when I sit down and I think of some of the things that people sit in committees and come up with, I wonder what runs in their veins, blood or water. Because they react like people who don't feel the pains of others. You have moved responsibility from yourself and you have hung it on the neck of the common masses. The same people that you are supposed to be protecting. During the lockdown, a lot of the poor were on the streets. Why? Because your palliative did not get to them. So they were out there struggling to see how they can feed off the food that you hold at them. So the palliatives didn't get there. No one is empowered to carry out research. So research isn't going on. Nothing is going on. And now you are throwing people back in the streets. The streets that you haven't fumigated, you haven't cleaned up, but you have told us that this virus is airborne and can stay airborne for eight hours. I, I don't understand. It's, do you even assume that everyone is stupid? Let us take, for instance, Lagos State. With no traffic during the lockdown, they could not trace people who had contact with those who had tested positive to the virus. They couldn't trace them. So imagine now, with traffic, how they will trace anyone. And if someone needs help deliberately, how will the NCDC get to the person? I don't understand. Do we want to end up like Ghana? who lifted their lockdown prematurely and ended up with all the casualties that they have. Can we handle that casualty? Someone is lying to the president and that person needs to stop. The president cannot be allowed to reach decisions on the strength of a lie. And Nigerians cannot live with this lie.